Here's a disclaimer. What you're about to see is largely a piece of fiction. It's inspired by the real events that took place at Nagpur when a uh, former president of India shared the stage with uh, the RSS uh, Sarsang Chalak at the passing out parade of Kadal's. Except for a few uh, truthful and factual video inserts, uh, that is footage from the actual event, uh, which will be uh, cut in as is to maintain authenticity. The rest of the account is a satirical version of the speech that could, perhaps should, have been given. Alas, the organization's cadres swung into action, brandishing lattes, that's uh, stout canes, uh, and showing off their hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. This was followed by SS's speech, a ritual grandstanding uh, of Hindu nationalism. Hindu <laughs> जो भारत का उत्तरदायी समाज है केवल परंपरा से रहते आया इतनी बात नहीं आज के तारीख में भारत का बहुसंख्यक समाज समाज है केवल इतनी बात नहीं भारत के भाग्य के बारे में प्रश्न उसे ही पूछा जाएगा उसका यह दायित्व है फाइनली द क्लॉक स्ट्रक फॉर द इवनिंग शो स्टॉपर पीडीज स्पीच ऑनरेबल एसएसजी एंड डिस्टिंग्विश्ड जेंटलमैन I know that you have a special place in your heart for Hindi uh, and would have uh, preferred it if I uh, spoke in that language. Uh, but you know, my mother tongue is Bengali and I think in English. So with your kind permission, I shall deliver my address in this foreign language. I'm sure you remember that in 2010, while moving a political resolution at the uh, All India Congress Committee, AICC, 83rd Plenary in Burari, Delhi, uh, I had asked our UPA government to investigate links between terrorists and the organization and its affiliates uh, that have been uncovered in some recent cases. I'm quite amazed that you have invited me despite the fact that I virtually called you terrorists. Thank you. Uh, the stick-wielding athleticism of your cadres was quite remarkable. Uh, and I hope uh, it shall be used when they come across ugly instances of vigilantism, a rather new and scary phenomenon in states that are ruled by your affiliates. I hope, for instance, that uh, uh, their newly acquired combat skills will protect a Pehlu Khan in Rajasthan, uh, some of those uh, unfortunate Dalit boys in Gujarat who were virtually skinned alive or when a riotous mob set on a clerk uh, in Uttar Pradesh. I am addressing the trainees. You are young, disciplined, well-trained and highly educated. We must free our public discourse from all forms of violence, physical as well as verbal. Honorable SSG, uh, do I have your permission to point out uh, uh, the most critical omission in your speech today? Well then, I fail to understand how you could speak about India's ethos and history without dilating on the immeasurable contribution of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation. You must also recall that the organization was unfortunately charged with complicity in his dastardly assassination by uh, Hindu fanatics and was banned in 1948. It's a uh, a matter of immense relief that the organization was not held culpable, but may I give a piece of uh, unsolicited advice? It would be uh, most statesmanlike for uh, you to condemn once and for all uh, the communal atmosphere that eventually snatched our most beloved Mahatma in that moment uh, of violent madness. As Gandhiji explained Indian nationalism, was not exclusive, not aggressive, not destructive. I was equally pained at the complete omission of Pandit Nehru's contribution in building modern India, even as you rightly extolled many splendid milestones in that journey. Uh, before going further, I must make an honest disclosure. I have been deeply influenced by Nehruvian socialism. And, uh, and yes, you could call me a, a Nehru Bhakt, a Nehru devotee. It was this very nationalism that Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru so vividly expressed in the discovery of India and I quote, I am convinced 
that nationalism can only come out of the ideological fusion of Hindu, Muslims, Sikhs and other groups in India. That does not mean the extinction of any real culture, cultural or of any group, but it does mean a common national outlook to which other matters are subordinated." Unquote. So I was surprised uh, at the innumerable mentions of Hindu Samaj in your speech. Is that all there is to the diversity of India? Everybody clubbed under a forcibly unified Hindu Samaj? No mention at all of Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Parsis in your construction of Hindu Samaj. How can we uh, negate hundreds of years of our history so blithely? Uh, yes, I, I of course agree that kings like Ashoka, Mauryas, Guptas uh, and several others laid the uh, foundation of Bharat uh, until the, uh, the uh, Muslim invaders. Uh, I know you persuaded me to insert this phrase uh, uh, Muslim invaders in my written speech, but uh, uh, allow me to digress from it. I shall uh, press the delete button uh, on the word Muslim. It's as silly and dangerous to prefix a religion to 1000 year old invaders as it is to current day terrorists. And it's even more pernicious when such a historical distortion is used to uh, demolish the edifice of Babri Masjid as we did uh, in 1992 when your ruling, uh, uh, when your affiliate uh, was ruling in Uttar Pradesh. So please expunge Muslims uh, from this line before distributing hard copies of my speech uh, to the media. Finally, before I sign off, I wish I had seen an equal number of women at this gathering. I know, I know the organization is a uh, bachelorhood, but that should not preclude us from acknowledging and celebrating India's extraordinary uh, women citizens. Dhanabad. Jai Hind.